Hi, thank you for joining me for this tutorial on how to make pallets on Farming Simulator 22. So first things first, we need to fell some trees. Um, I have planted some trees. These are two years old, um, 24 game days old. And yeah, let's let's cut a couple down and get them um, ready and sent off to a sawmill. So I use uh, the forestry harvesters for this. Just got to get it lined up. There we go. Okay, here we go. So I have this set to cut at nine meter lengths. Really easy to use. The hardest part is actually getting it lined up with the tree itself. Um, but once, once you're in a groove, it is uh, quite a pleasure to do. Now these are spruce trees. There are four types of trees that can be used um, or planted that work with this particular harvester. Otherwise, it's the good old fashioned uh, chainsaw. Ooh. The only issue is sometimes it goes a little crazy like that. Let me just drive over that and get myself back in position. There we go. So two trees should be enough to demonstrate this to you. So with the wood, we need to make planks and beams. So I'm going to show you one of my favorite um, modded sawmills, which produces things at super lightning pace. So here I'm using a telehandler with a big bag winch on the front. I'm just going to very quickly show you all this equipment. So this is the front in front loader tools, big bag winch. And then on the back, just to make sure that it holds nice and steady, I have a weight. This is the lightweight mod. I actually have the 2000 kilograms on the back of this one. And the telehandler that I'm using is this one in front of you here. Again, this is a mod. And the forest machinery that I was using is in front of you there. Again, that is a mod. There are in-game options available to you. But as you can see, it is quite a handy piece of kit. Now I've just um, got a truck and a logger trailer. Place all of this in here. And I'm going to complete this off camera and I'll be back once I have um, a nice trailer full of wood. See you soon. And I'm back. I've loaded up the two trees. Unfortunately, the weather is terrible, <laughs> um, but the two trees are ready for us. And I'm going to show you this particular mod whilst it's producing. Oh, let me just unfasten the straps sell the wood okay that's just shy of 10,000 litres so this sawmill here um, is absolutely brilliant okay let's go so you go to production and factories now let's find it amongst all the many ones that I now have in here um, I'm trialing quite a few out at the moment bear with me We'll get there. So, ground motion around. No, no, no. It's this one here. This is it. Okay, so this is the sawmill, which I'd strongly advise that you use. Um, it's just called Sawmill Mod. Um, if you there is a different one there are sawmill packs as well there but this one here does the planks and beams that you need it also does make wood chips and 
bark mulch um, but this is the one that you need to produce um, the bits that I am going to show you so we're just going to wait okay we have one already this should be beams this is beams yes so we have some beams okay so I'm going to start as they pop out I'm going to start loading these up um, let me pull down the ramp oh. turns out that you need to stay in the vehicle for the ramp to fully go down <laughs> there we go okay so, and there are the planks there the big big one bag winch that I've got on here is just fabulous for for moving everything to be honest it's just absolutely fabulous let's get a little bit of oh why can we not move up here it's not letting me go up okay I know why it's because of the guard that I've got on the front so what we're gonna do I will just carefully move them round um, and we'll put them on the side. Sorry, it thinks I want to give the beams to the pigs. I really don't want to. <laughs> right, I know these aren't going on particularly neatly. Um, but for now, we're just going to do this for speed. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Might need a bigger weight to lift this level of uh, planks so this is with two tree loads we're getting a nice amount out of here well that wasn't exactly very classy done was it let's pull that out and down up round should have got a forklift <laughs> there we go that'll hold that'll hold Plonk. slightly better hold this time and grabbed it in more in the middle okay there we go so this really is a fantastic mod you see how quickly that produced I haven't skipped time um, I do have this just one on from real time it is on two uh, so it isn't particularly going much faster than real time um, and we've been able to, to get some really good stuff out of here so let me just reverse my skid loader I'm sorry my telehandler there we go fasten right let's extend that back up and let's drive you over to my pallet production apologies i'm driving over the <laughs> pig pasture right there so this is a nice easy way to transport i could have picked these up with some auto loaders as well that would have been even quicker but i would have need to have done two runs um, I do have crop disruption turned off at the moment so that I uh, I don't cause myself too much harm and the, there are a couple of different pallet uh, production mods the one I'm going to show you 
um, can be used for the new fish mod, which has come out. Um, if you now, if you want to do some fish farming, fish farming is now available to you. Um, so that is very exciting indeed. Okay, we're just going to turn this corner. I'm actually going to go in from the other way. It's just to the right of me, um, but I'm going to go in behind and pull through. Probably should landscape this all a little nicer. Whoops! I'm so sorry. That's my uh, that's my storage. Quick detour. So this mod right here that I'm driving next to now is the one that you go you're going to want. There are, as I say, there are a couple. Okay, can you see it all disappearing? Lovely jubbly. And whilst we are here, I'm going to show you where it is. If you go into production, then factories. Again, I have quite a few different mods, so I am going to have to click through to show you. And here they are. So we have here the, a pallet factory. This is 25,000. Um, you can put wood directly into that one and it produces pallets and wood chips. But this one here, this one also produces wood chips and barrels, but it also produces the small empty pallets, which is required for the fish. Um, now you do, as I say, you do need to put the planks and the wood and the beams in. Whereas this one, wood directly in and it produces the pallets. So it's completely up to you. Um, the one I'm showing you is just a tiny bit more um, tricky, of course, because you are having to put in, um, there's an extra step, there's an extra process uh, to be had. So I will come back when one has is ready for us just a couple of minutes from where i left you we've already had our first empty pallets spawn out the front here obviously there's no like masking tape or area where it was going to spawn so i was a little confused as to where it was going to go but here we go we have it um a thousand liters and 1.1 tons so you would need to put that on the back of a trailer and move to wherever you would want it to be um i hope you found this video useful if you did please give me a like um please feel free to comment and most of all thank you so much for watching